What's going on guys? Pat here again. Uh, just making a little video here to try to show that uh, apparently Time Warner Cable is throttling YouTube traffic. Um, I just moved into this apartment, if you saw my last video, and I didn't get the fastest internet. I got the 3, me three megabit tier because it's just me. I'm not sharing it with anybody. You know, I'll, I'll, basically all I'm doing is watching, honestly, just watching YouTube videos. And it, 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 it appears to be stopping and starting down here. See, it's stuck at 17 seconds right now. And I originally thought, well, it's either I went because I went with cheap internet, because it was the $35 3 megabit tier, or it was my cheap, uh, maybe my $13 router here. But uh, when I plugged the modem directly into my computer, it didn't make a difference. So I just was ready to accept it and say maybe it's because I got cheap internet. But... Um, I happened to cross a post on Facebook, which I probably can't bring up right now, um, saying that um, basically Time Warner Cable, no matter what speed you're on, uh, it, like throttles all video streaming websites, so Vimeo, YouTube, whatever. So you can see here it's still, it's only made it to 35 seconds and I've been recording for a minute now. Um, so there's actually, in this article, there's actually some things you can implement in either your router's firewall or if you have OS 10, you can do this from the command line, or if you you can also use Windows Firewall to implement this. So I'm going to try to make some of these changes, come back, and we'll see if it makes a difference. So I'll be back in a second. Okay, I just implemented those rule changes on my Windows Firewall here. Uh, if this works, I'll probably uh, go into the router and do it through the router so I don't have to do it on all my other devices. Um, actually, I'm not even sure if my cheap router will let me do those kinds of things, but... We'll find out. I mean, if it doesn't work, I can always do it through the command line on my MacBook. But anyway, um, if this was a video here. It was a Stage 6 ASIF. So I'm going to bring this up and I'm going to crank it up to, 6, to 720p. It's playing. Uh, appears to not be freezing. So. Yeah. Appears to be going good. Sweet. So I'm going to say that, that worked. I mean, it's not buffering it out super far, but again, I don't have a really fast connection. It's got uh, guys, let me pause this. Guys with really fast connections saying it was saturating their entire connection. I only have three megabit, to, you know, and it's just me. So, yeah, look, you see it buffering there. It, it would like before it would like freeze there you know so uh yeah i'm this i'm very happy with this um especially since this is my main form of entertainment so i'll put a link in the description hopefully it works out for you if uh you like me were forced to change time warner cable against your will and yeah it's not exactly something you want to do so all righty thanks for watching Quick little FYI, I went to a 1080p trailer for the uh, Infamous game, the new one for PS4, uh, Second Son. I cranked it up to 1080p, and my connection p appears to not be able to keep up with it, but it is buffering. Like, if this was before I implemented those firewall rules, it wouldn't have even gotten that far. So, um, it is working, and it's, it is buffering semi-quickly, and it seems to buffer a little faster when I start playing it. But, yeah, uh, thanks for watching.